Live. Live on Facebook. Well, here we go. This is the March Numerology Show. My mic's not March Numerology Show with Bobby and Harry Hart. And yes, we're two days late, but he wasn't well. And we're bringing it in today because he says that he's such a special, special message. Um, special message for us for March, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, and what I wanted to do was just quickly share, because I don't know if Robin has seen this, the reading I did um, whenever the first was <laughs> on Sunday. And it was quite an interesting, uh, I thought it was a very interesting reading because here it was, um, the, the challenge card, the challenge card for the month is strength. The focus card is follow your heart. And the outcome card or moving forward is focus. And the brief message I wrote was, it will take inner strength to do the self-love and self-care work that will have you in flow. This is the month to fully act on what resonates with your heart. Yes, now is the time to capitalise and follow your heart. Ask it for guidance from your heart. It knows. And it will help you to focus on what you are truly desiring so i'll put that um in the show notes afterwards but i thought that was um you know really quite um amazing wow so beautiful now what oh i've got a problem here it says i can't post comments to facebook profiles yet it said i could let's see if i can get in uh did you tag me in that i did tag you in that Kate, let's see if I can get us. Um, oh, here I am. Yeah. Hey, guys. What's up? Okay, hold on. Let me see uh, if I can so watch right. for my, own, my, my own watch party here. Can I watch my own party? No. Ah, what's going on? Oh, see, it said I could actually put it. Don't tell me I've got to take it back and put it on. We've got, I can see some. Uh, I'm sharing it to my timeline. Is it working? I'm on. We've got two people live. Hey, guys. How's it going? Three people sharing. Oh, you've shared it. I've shared it. Yep. And then let's see what else we got. I'm going to see I'm if I can. I'm going to see whether I can see it on my page or not. Yeah, it's on. It's it's on your personal profile. Ah, it's too live it's on, now. Yeah. It's on your pro personal profile. Ah, right. I oh, can see it. Aha! Ah, oh, here we are. Ah, oh, fantastic. And then maybe what I'll do is I can watch. Uh, um, okay. I've got four shares, so it, that means it's on my page. It's hey in your group and on my group. No. Okay. So we should be fine. But the thing was, I put it on here so I could see the comments. And it's saying for some reason can't post comments to Facebook profile. Um, let me just see. Hey Shelly, how's it going? Looks like Shelly's here. Okay. I've, we've got four people with us. Oh, we have. All right, we have. Okay. Well, I'm just going to. Oh, we've got a saying we've got six. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my um, page. The only thing is I'm not seeing any comments. Can somebody um, who's on live just leave a comment to see whether I can actually reply or not okay okay so that was the reading so bobby let's go into the third of the third um i know we're now the fifth of the third but what my up oh, hi shelly fantastic right okay i can now see the comments that's great uh bobby so we're going to go into this magical month of march where we're talking about gateways and energy that's going to bring joy, passion, and love into perspective. I'll let you take it away. 
So uh, I appreciate you so much, Susie, for so many things right now. First of all, for creating this space for me to, to hang out with you guys and to be here with you. It's a true blessing and an honor. I've been dealing with my own personal physical upgrades right now. My whole family, my kids are just getting sick one at a time. We're falling like dominoes. And uh, for me to get back up, and it feels very renewed. And uh, I feel like I, I, I'm bringing new life back into me. I, I've been doing a lot of reading and uh, some amazing mind-blowing insights that have come to be channeled through to me that I would not have felt if I wasn't so disassociated from my body. And this is a very interesting thing. I'm not sure if anybody ever has felt this when they get really sick and they just sort of feel like they're in like a spirit dimension. They're not even in the physical frame anymore. And you're just like, I'm like cold and shivers. I'm like burning a fever. And I'm like, what am I, what's happening to me? And, you know, as I'm working through it, I'm like, okay, surrender. And I'm going to, uh, you know, just read some stuff. And, you know, just reading more about into my craft and in, into numbers of all things. Uh, and it was just such a wonderful space to be able to do that. Now, the uh, other thing that I'm really blessed that we, we usually get a chance to do together is, you know, the first of the first, the second of the second, the third of the third, uh, we get a chance to connect on the day gateway energy. Now, since uh, a couple of days ago, I was incapacitated. I was not unable to, to function. And I'm like, you know, just chills everywhere. I was like, okay, let's push this a couple of days in. And I believe today is still a three day for you in total vibe, if I'm correct? Yes, I worked out it was still a three day because it's five and eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep. And so that was added up to another three day. So I'm, I'm glad that the message is still gonna be extraordinarily strong and efficient for today. It's also gonna be strong for this entire month. The, the, the topic is three. Obviously we want to acknowledge and expand on that and you know that that's the whole focus on why we would want to connect on a three three day now i wrote something that was super inspired when susie was like what's the deal for this with this, this talk and and I, I, I wanted to pull this back up so i could kind of spin off of this and let you guys sort of feel what i what i wrote the gateways three three and three energy brings joy and passion and love into the perspective so we're talking three is the entry point into love it's also the the, the last number in the junior scale. It's the one of romance, it's the one of creativity. This is the number of expression. And this is where we get a chance to actually have our social charm. Like we're here doing a go live. So, and, and 2019 was a three year. So this is kind of like a nostalgia little throwback to what we were experiencing last year when it was like podcast episodes, go live, podcast episodes, <laughs> we're always just doing recordings and, and doing all and broadcasting our message and i got my logos done and my website built and all that kind of stuff was happening in the three year so it would bring back a nice re because the 2020 came in and suddenly it was like whoosh, like closed shut like get to work and now suddenly the energy is very dense so as we see a three energy comes back in it really allows us that oh let's just have fun or let's just find the joy in our creativity and I'm loving it because Sally's on point right now. She's got a three birthday. So she's born on the third and she's finding her voice. She's really finding, you know, uh, you know, her, like the way to, to, to express to people and her charm is starting to ooze out through her, her interactions with others. And I'm kind of looking at it. I'm like, the three needs confidence. And we're uh -huh. all that is so true. Wait, you wait till I sit. Cause you know, it's still a three year for me. My four year doesn't, coming till December. Heck yeah. So, but what's really interesting, Bobby, you might have noticed I've got a new banner. And it said, and this came to me in a meditation and things. I've been struggling with who I am, who my ideal client was. So it's Susie Teal, leading with love, colouring the world. <laughs> and it's awesome. just, it, it really feels so good. And um, I'm now working with some um, doing readings for all these creative, heart centered, elite sort of entrepreneurs who uh, we think have got it all together. But when I'm doing their readings, I'm finding there's, uh, like I did with you, there's still a lot of self love work to actually get them to rise to that level. So, I'm actually really, I've just been on with my uh, coaching call this morning with where I'm heading with all of this. Mm. And it's really, really exciting. 
and um, we have the regular uh, abundance show tomorrow on a Friday and we're doing Radical Gratitude with the author of this, Deborah Perdue from wow. the States. And I'm, um, and in the next couple of days, I'm going to be launching Susie's Inner Circle. It, yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be a group with um, weekly meditations and the people who join. Uh, we'll get their own reading every month, sitting with me in Zoom. That's amazing. But it's only, it's just come together. And I mean, I'm very lucky I've got the best two coaches at the moment. They're just brilliant. And, um, but I was amazed when you said that about Sally because I've been struggling with pivoting this way, pivoting that way. And when you said that about Sally, because we both have the same year numbers. That is amazing. So I think it's amazing you took that into this um, energy of the three. It's really interesting because like you, you are an artist and you will detail, even through readings, you'll be able to detail a story and channel a vision for someone through this intuitive art of creativity. You have to have an imagination to be able to do that. And you also have to have the confidence to deliver because um, imagine how many channeled or spiritually given messages will suffer the three and the three will be like, don't say that. It's kind of weird. I'm not going to say that to people. That sounds so strange. And then you show up with the confidence to say, no, this is what we're going to do. And I guess you're, you're too deep into the water to even, you know, for, to, it makes you chuckle to realize, yeah, of course I'm going to acknowledge my gift, but there are some people out there where the three would attack them on the other side and say, I don't know how to express that, or I don't want to seem like I'm strange. Uh, and then even to further on what you're talking about, the three also, because it's an art, an, an art or a creation or an expression, it may not be the actual how you feel. There could be mountains of anxiety or uncertainty or challenge, but the show must go on. I'm sick. My family's dealing with stuff right now. It's a three energy. The show must go on. We're all <laughs> going through stuff. Entrepreneurs, your problems upgrade, especially if you come elite. Guess what? Elite problems. <laughs> like you well, get the elites come, the elite has come through. I have a success buddy. Her name is Amanda J. Beaver. And I met her through the business that which is how Bobby and I have met. Yeah. Um, we were in a mastermind and now we're just success, but we just work with one another. But she was saying when I said our oh, creative heart centered entrepreneurs, she said no creative heart centered elite entrepreneurs, because I'm one of her elite friend she said now that's who you and I are going to be working with and um it seems it feels really good and the other thing that's been amazing um with that is it's given me all this clarity I just want to say I can see a whole lot of people watching I can see now we've got about eight people watching I love the people to say I love you all please come and say hello say where you're from because you know you can probably ask Bobby a question, and if there are enough of you around later, I will do a one card reading for the people who are on today. Cool. So um, just say hello. I know it's not the usual time that we're on, but that's okay. It's going to get stranger in the next couple of months when when I think you're going to do this in the middle of the morning, or I'm going to do it in the middle of the night, something like that. When we our have a decision to make, we have a decision to make. Um, on uh april april is what time is it for you now bobby uh it's 9 45 p.m so i think it'll be right. yeah. so we have a decision whether it's um i think april we were going to anyway if 10 p.m is too late for you we won't do it i'll have to get up at 4 a.m uh 10 p.m is fine for me i think i think we should and yeah. then the next one is going to be five i i am awake it, then the in may it's going to be 5 a.m in the morning in june it will be 6 a.m in the morning and so on for the rest of the year it then gets easier yeah. but it seems last this one and that so but that'll be great it's going to be really good as we move forward and yep. i think as we move forward we'll get more and more people coming and more and more people realizing how much value they can get by jumping online here 
we create a, like an energetic web. And that's, I recognize that's, that's kind of the space that we create, especially with our friendship and the people who listen to us and maybe you're watching the replay or catching this up. It's, it's a loving hammock to, to nestle your, your sense of awareness and your sense of consciousness around people who care about you, care about your growth and care about where you're going to the next level. So that's why I really appreciate being able to do what we do. And that makes you very valuable to me, right? Like, pr like precious to me to know that because good people are hard to find. So it's nice to, to be able to create that with you. And I appreciate you letting me do that. And I just want to say there's somebody come on called, uh, who's called Breaky Glenn. Um, I can see. So, yeah, if people come on, just say hello. Stay around if you want to ask a question. Um, and uh, if you want um, a card reading uh, later, just... Um, you have to hang around for that and you have to ask. So back to this energy of, um, I found it, oh, I haven't brought it in, I thought I did. Um, my, I've been checking every day with my numerology reading from you. And some days I don't like it, but <laughs> I read. And other days I underline all the good things. Yeah. So, Bobby, is there anything else you want to say about this um, energy of three and Mars? Yeah, there's, there's another dimension to uh, numerology that's really apparent in this current area that we're in right now with a four year and a three month and talking about three energy. And it's about presence. And we're talking about not past tense or future tense, but in the present tense as in the now. And there are numbers that consider the future. There are numbers that don't consider time. There are numbers that consider the now. And there are numbers that consider the past. And so in a three vibration, we're considering present moment, like as in be here now and feel now. So this probably isn't the best, uh, you know, talk to take notes to. This is the best. This is more of a, a conversation to really like feel into you and to let that joy unfold. Uh, this is a perfect time because we hold on to a lot. We hold on to, you know, challenges here and there with where to be work or with our family or challenge you know, with my kids right now or whatever it be with my health. We all go through it and it kind of, it's kind of like breaks. It makes you stop, it makes you stop what you're doing. You can't be busy. You can't go and busy yourself. You have to stop and deal with your now and to find joy in that present moment. I was, you know, I, I thought my worst nightmare was becoming sick leaving Sally to take care of four kids. No, my my biggest nightmare is watching my son get sick now. And now, you know, him having to go through it breaks my heart. And I I wrote this post about great gratitude. I just wrote it just today. I'm grateful for my son and his health and grateful for life, grateful for being a dad, grateful for all this, just pouring so much gratitude onto what it, what it is there because I recognize, and I just, I wasn't even thinking about that when I wrote the post. I was just in like, you know, sadness because I was like, oh my God, my son is sick. First time he's a fever, doesn't want to let go of me. And he's a life path three. <laughs> so, oh, right. you know, I was, I was like, oh, it's such a sweet little sort of coincidence. But for me, when I'm looking at this, co this coincidence and like there are none, the spiritual alignment is that we have to stop worrying about what's going to happen later or how's it going to go down. You are on a path. And this is like, all right, we're going <laughs> to. This is this is the profound stuff, okay? Because I was I was reading some things and I'm like, this is intense. I'm learning this for a reason, and I was just basically going through this yesterday and today. But we're going on a path, and we cannot see the end of it. We'd like to think we know what the end of it is because we want so bad for our happy ending, but we don't know truly what our time is supposed to be looking like on here. So it's arbitrary. We don't know if it's going to be a bus or it's going to be a thousand years, but we, all we know is that we have right now. And that's where the forever exists. That's where the vortex is. That's where the infinite moment is the moment of decision, choice and change. You get a chance to do everything in the infinite moment of the now. So it's very, it's, and it's undersung because in, inside of wealth or love, now is like a microwave. It's like, oh, I just want to be in love now. Or I just want to find this, get money now, make money quick. There is no, and then the, the guys who are thinking long-term are like, come on, sit down while the big kids go to do their, you know, 10-year prospectus and this and that. We look toward, and there's a great way to vision, but there's also a great way to lose yourself in the process 
if you don't stop to smell the roses, right? There's a cliche for that. And so when we get a chance to see this three energy this month, guys, and I haven't done this yet on my goal, I will be speaking this message again, but I wanted to speak it here first with you guys because uh, I'm just coming out of the cave here and like just fresh again. The thing we have to enjoy this moment now. We don't know the path that we're on to what end or what extent or what power and destiny that we've come forth through. That's why I love doing numerology. I will uncover that story. But the reality is, is that you're only ever going to control the now. So if something bad happens to you, it's a temperature gauge on how cool can you be? How regulated are you able to stay? Or are you going to be blown up and pissed off at, at what comes to you? or feel like you have to cower away and offer defeat, that's usually what happens, a fight or flight. So as an entrepreneur or as a spiritual person in the awakening, I'd like to think that this moment, the three stands is that sort of like pause in time and think everything is in the now, all things are equal, everything is held in perfect tension, and we get a chance to make a movement decision or a force forward because you know we don't know how long we're gonna have. and. All I know is where I've been, but I, I have a dream where I know where I want to go. And uh, yeah, so you want to add? It's 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 just it's one of these big, huge realities for me in my life to think that I've spent so much time worrying and obsessing over the future. And now that I have my son, who is also, I guess, as I say again, Life Path 3, it's a beautiful recognition to think, you know what, just enjoy this moment because one day he's going to be too cool to want to hang out with his dad. I'm like, no way. I'll always be cooler than him, <laughs> but uh, you know, that feeling will always want to be there that I want to be of, you know, I, I, I don't want to miss these moments in these times, uh, you know, as I grow through. So you're going to definitely, especially where I'm at in, my, in the world, the weather's getting better. And it was like, it's tough because we're, I'm very much, I like hot and I like, you know, I like my, where I live too. So the weather's getting better. We're going outside without coats. So it's going to be a much yeah. I'm here with the pot all the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, the spiders are the size of cats. No, I'm just kidding. Talik <laughs> saying she's like, this, this the cat, the spider's that big. I'm like, yeah, they're that big. So yeah, she's worried about that. <laughs> but we went there. Hi, we didn't see any. Uh, hi, Francesca. Last time we went down there, we didn't see any that big. I was like a little disappointed, Australia. I guess you gotta go like deep into like the no-go zones to find the big animals. We had a we have a friend who's a not a uh, native seal. Ex Navy SEAL, he lives in Texas. He wouldn't swim in the sea because of the shark. Whereas oh. I go in the sea nearly every day. I mean, <laughs> I walk on the be a shark there. We yeah. didn't have shark. Well, <laughs> that's awesome. So say, um, yeah, hi, Reiki. Reiki Glenn, I think, is um, somebody I met through um, Brandon Bates' journey. I think he's a journey person. Francesca, I'm actually looking forward. A friend of yours, Bobby? Absolutely, yeah. It's a, a wise mentor of mine. Francesca is a friend of mine for sure. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I, I'm, I'm blessed that you get a chance to be with this on this message. And thank you. I uh, just want to say hi to Anjali. Um, while I hand back to Bobby for more uh, on the street, I, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling it's a really good energy. And I like this idea of being really present. Well, that's been coming up with some readings I've been doing for people as well. How important it is for them to be, um, yeah, really present with what's going on. Mm. Mm. It, it's easy to like to get to get distracted and away from what's truly present inside of your life, and it'll show up as it as things like in my in my case. All you guys ever see from me is positivity. I'm going to show up with some motivational stuff. I don't come out and post my garbage or my laundry on Facebook. I don't go through social media when I'm going through a difficult time. When I'm going through my own, I don't want to be around any electronics. I just want to go and be an introvert. I want to be inside of my own energy. And this is what we're talking about is putting your best face forward, having your sharpest tools ready to go out because this is our battlefield. Okay. We're talking to audience there are people out here who have never seen us before and they're fighting themselves and we're because we're all in this together, especially those of us who have turned to entrepreneur. We kind of smelt that ice, that idea that jobs and careers weren't safe or attractive anymore. We wanted to step outside of that, but then we quickly realized how cold it was outside of the system because now people judge us and 
we get rejected and things like that happen. And we want to save face and show up for people, especially for our business and for our brands. And it can really take a toll on us to the point even where, hey, it rips my family down or it rips me down or it takes my health out. Or maybe it just basically just does. I don't, you know, we have to deal with that. And I'd like to think that if we're able to really perfect our craft, really be able to show up for the world, we magnetize the energy that we bring out to others. So there is a con concentrated effort that says, I don't want to speak negatively or speak ill if I'm going to go online, even let alone inside of my actual life. But what I want to want to show up and broadcast, I want to be present for the person out there who's like sick and tired and they're waiting and they're ready. And they're just like, I can't do this anymore. I want to express my power. I'm ready to take, I'm drawing my line in the sand right now. I can't handle this anymore. And we have to be that safe space for people to welcome into with open arms. And that's why I think it's really cool that we do this once a month because it, it, the consistency builds, it's like a fabric now. It's not just a single thread. Like we're actually like weaving a parachute, like a, you know, those things that people jump off the building and they're, and they're safe. Like they can land properly out of the burning building. Like we're the, well, those who are going to catch you. And there is a, a group of us from, you know, Matt and Jay Beaver, a client of mine as well, Angelique, Francesca, yourself, me, uh, you know, we're all in this form, in this group for a specific reason. And that's why I love connecting with my spiritual buddies. And I'm like, well, Francesca, you're watching this. This is a, she's one of my star, my like star sisters. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm glad you guys get a chance to meet. You should definitely connect. Susie, me, oh, Francesca. Great. And I'll just say, uh, hi, Andrew. Uh, we're, star, we're all star heroes. Like, we're, we're, we were champions in this regard. And that means that if we're going to hurl to earth, we got to deal with the human experience. You know, we're going to have to, we're going to show up for others. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I can appreciate that energy for sure. Cause that's for me, I want to paint that picture. I want to be that hero. I want to find that magic within people. And uh, that's why I hang out with you all the time. <laughs> And the other thing, of course, Bobby, is within that, you're also taking better care of you. Remember from the reading we did? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel I, it was unfortunate. I've lost like 10 pounds uh, and not in the way I wanted to. I was like, I haven't eaten anything and like it's been so tough. But, uh, you know, I, I was 10 pounds lighter. I'm like, that's not it. And I, you, you, you get recognized what self care looks like. You know, when you don't want to eat something or you can't stomach something or you want to, mm. I wanted, I was craving sweets or like a fruit smoothies. Like for the last three days, I just wanted to blend fruits together. And that was all I wanted to eat. Uh, and then I felt like that was honoring who I was or maybe just choosing to just be able to sit down in my bed and, and, and nurse a fever, nurse those honoring who I am and where I was. Uh, and even so I was like, stop resisting it. Don't resist it. And I was for a while. I didn't want to throw up. I didn't want to vomit. I didn't want to go and have stomach illness and that. But when I did, I felt better. I stopped resisting and you start healing. And that's, I guess, the moral of the story for life, right? What you resist persists. But uh, uh, absolutely, yes. what? absolutely right. But I'm ready. I mean, this is these are these are big upgrades. I can imagine that you know this what I went through, and now even my family too, and. I was looking for the reason. I'm not sure if anybody does this or when they get sick, they're like, did I eat something? Did I touch someone's hand? Did someone sneeze on me? And we're trying to like forensics our own uh, journey as to how we got sick. And then I was just journaling through the thought. And of course, for all of us super spiritual like enthusiasts, we quickly jump to the, oh, I'm ascending. I'm ascending. I'm, a, I'm upgrading my <laughs> system right now. <laughs> and I went through that too. And when I did that, I was like, Oh, it feels so good. And I, I mean, I chuckle about it now, but I didn't jump to that conclusion. And I, when I did it, it, everything just sort of clicked. And I'm like, no, you're ready for something bigger. You're growing into something more. And this was a, a, a breaking old form of your, you know, old self or what you were leaving behind. And especially what you were saying before, you're like, Hey, you need more self-love. You need to practice more of that on yourself. And then it came to that climax point where I'm like, this is the upgrade that's going to take me to the next level because I can't, as, as we say, entrepreneurs, we have problems, especially as we continue growing, we, our problems continues to get bigger as well too. So I have to keep growing as well too. I can't operate at my new level of challenge with my old level of reality. So I, I'm, something was going to break and I'm glad it did 
because you know <laughs> that means I'm growing, and that that's well, a wonderful feel. Yeah, it's just um, a client of mine has um, um, broken her ankle, oh. and she she's sending a message saying, I "Keep drawing the rest card." <laughs> I keep drawing. I can't run a business and be keep having the rest card. So I'm I'm getting her to ask herself better questions. I think, but so it's quite fascinating, um, and it's what um, Angelique is just saying. Your body needed that for an upgrade, and um, I love Francesca just said the future has changed direction. So it's a very interesting time that I think lots of people um, are getting these messages that you know we have to. It's really really take care, to take care of, um, our, listen to our body, listen to this energy. And uh, what was it that Bobby wrote in here? We focus on the joy of creation, having fun with what you do, following your joy, introducing your reality. We have to constantly pay attention to different changes in shift, which is exactly what you're talking about. So it's just so important that um, I love what you wrote at the end of that. There's a new cycle beginning to put your best face forward, fall in love, and joy is a renewing and inspiring energy. Ooh. So that, yeah, that's what you wrote a couple of weeks ago when I asked you what we were going to focus on. Yeah, and I, I, I hadn't gotten ill yet at that moment. So <laughs> it's interesting how it all comes back in together. Um, well, I, where I was, it, it reminded me of something I really wanted to say here. Enjoy the present, because most of us, and you know, we're we're either focused on the worry of something bad happening or not happening, or the fear of some, you know, of that. It's always that out of range feeling. The the vortex is to think, look, I've made it through other things. I'll make it through this. I'm gonna be okay. I always am. Things always work out for me. And one of the most beautiful, like you can't make this up. Okay, like I got sick, and I'm like now. We're pulling our kids out of school and like it's a madhouse at the home. Like everyone's coughing on each other and we're like, whoa, don't touch me. And then poor Sally's like juggling everyone and she hasn't gotten sick yet. So I'm like, she's going to be good. Her constitution is amazing. But uh, the reality is, is that we put, I, I was so grateful that I had of the lifestyle, the community, the support, uh, the people around me. The, 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 I didn't have a job to go to. I didn't, I didn't have to explain myself to a boss. I mean, my boss is Sally, right? She was there with me. Uh, but there, <laughs> I, didn't have to, I, I, didn't, I didn't have to worry about that. I could take time and care for myself. And then my next gratitude was, oh, I'm so thankful that this happened to me first. Because as soon as I got, and I guess it was me, and then everyone else started getting sick, now I'm feeling like I can be here to serve everyone as they all go through their shift and their challenge and their journey. And then it was the challenge that brought gratitude of how grateful I am for my son and his health. You know, what? and I'm, I'm a new, like, I've got my four kids, but my first son, right, my little baby boy, it's 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 a feeling. I, I thought I would, I understand now what parents say when they're like, you know, you have that child in your hand. And, you know, it's a very interesting experience, you know, when they're burning a fever and they're hot and, you know, the, he just, and if I try to put him down, he clings onto me and he's like sopping wet wants to cling on to me and I'm just like, you know, I've, I'm feeling the, the I want to, I want so bad to pray for his, you know, I want whatever it takes to just get my son feeling okay again, you know, and get him laughing again. And it's such a challenge, but the, the beauty in is in finding all that gratitude along the way. Cause you know, I could imagine some people would be like, Rah! and I was so blessed that I could actually find like nice, like pockets of gratitude along the path that allowed me to really, I guess, rise uh, and and assume my upgrade uh, as I was going through. So pretty cool to understand that and focusing gratitude. back into the present, right? Yeah. And, and gratitude is so healing. And I mean, I just think it's amazing you're talking so much about um, gratitude, and and that's what tomorrow we're talking about um, uh, radical gratitude. Radical gratitude with a gratitude um, expert as that. Um, and how through gratitude we can release pain and move it, go from 
she told me about really some pain and moving in the feet. In food uh, gratitude? Yes. Mm. Yeah, we do. Uh, like when, when if someone says they don't they don't want to eat that, like you know, kids, right? Like I don't want to eat that. We make a big deal of it. Like, oh my gosh, no, no, no. We're gonna pray for this food. Like we want to put a, a a gratitude barrier on the food that's about to be eaten because you know someone gave their life for this or you know someone put the effort into making this and you're gonna put this into your body. It's gonna become part of you. And so I I am such a huge believer. Uh, food is medicine. It's spiritual. It's gateway to God. You're consuming universe oh, energy. And it's just, you cannot, I'm going to watch that for sure. Cause you have to have food. We even sprinkled food dust on our magic dust, love dust on our food. Even when I'm cooking, I'm like thinking, what else do I need? And I'm usually doing this and I'm just like, Hmm. And I'm always just like, like thinking about what else do I put in while I'm making the motion of putting in love dust in my, you know, in my food. So I it's, love it's that. a wonderful love practice. That. And Francesca is saying viruses are a sign of releasing resistance to those transformation, transformative energies. Being grounded and present is our, is our essence. It's important to be able to anchor these frequencies coming through for our personal change and for global change. Global change. And um, what I'm just thinking, I you know, I can see that you've still got a bit of a coffin thing here. We've probably done nearly enough talking Bobby, this afternoon or your evening. What I'm going to actually offer now is for the people who are on, um, who would, yes, I love that, loved us too, Francesca. Uh, for people who are on who would like to know maybe where their energy um, is heading for March. I will do a one card reading and while I'm waiting for people to say yes, um, I'm going to, I'm just going to um, get everybody centered because I'm going to do a card for Bobby. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <gonna> ask. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. So, yeah, and I can just hear, I think, you know, we need to, we just need to sit and relax and enjoy being given, receiving. Allow yourself to receive. <coughs> um, and so remember, any of the readings I do, you can relate to yourself as well, even though this one I'm actually doing for body. What, um, yes, Angelique, you can have a card, that's fine. Uh, what I want to do first is just everybody, just get really quiet. I'm just going to do like a 30 second little meditation to get yourself really centered. So just um, put your hands on your heart and just breathe in. Breathe in the light. And breathe in the love that you are. I want everybody just to. See yourself surrounded by a circle of light. See yourself protected. And for your angels and guardians and whoever is around you to be with you now, to protect us all in this time um, where we do have some challenges in the world. So we want to protect ourselves um, with this light from any viruses and things that might be showing up. And then just take a deep breath. Now, let's just see. For those of you who are new, um, these are my own um, partial parts. Everything is hand painted. Um, and they come from my own healing. Love, Bobby. 
love, love. Feel the love within you. Allow it to say, I love you, and give yourself an inner namaste. So this is for all the love you have to pour out to your family at the moment. You need to pour some love back in here. And I'm going to ask you this question that people are liking me asking a moment. Have you been uh, waking up and saying, I love you, Bobby? Or looking in the, those beautiful eyes of yours in the mirror and saying, I love you, Bobby. I really love you. Not first thing, but it does happen. But that, that's it does happen. Thing. Long as it happens, I'm finding so many entrepreneurs. It's not not doing it at the moment. So it's really important that we hear it in here. I wake up in the morning to say, I love you, Susie. I really love you. Okay, Emily. Um, Angelique, just tap into your heart and surround yourself with that love and that light. And we ask for this reading for Angelique to allow her to shine her light more. That's what I get through. So, Angelique, the card you've got is yes. Um, the message on the card is, as you say yes to love, to life and to you, your heart whispers thank you. So we've got some more gratitude coming in. But what I'm hearing for you, Angelique, is um, you've maybe been pondering this path or this path. And now is the time... Um, to decide which one. Um, I, haven't got it. I normally have it here. I have got it. Bobby got me to start using a pencil. Um, oh, a long while ago. That's something that you can use the pendulum. This necklace I can use as a pendulum. And just um, what you do is ask it to give me a yes. To ask it to give me a yes. So mine is going yes to the right. And then I ask stop it. And then I ask it to give me a no. It's going up, right? It's going side to side. So I can use this. I do have a proper pendulum. I was using it this morning. It's not in its little bag. Uh, so that's just another way. If you're not sure, the body wisdom does know. Um, and then I did a little video yesterday on my done a whole thing of this on my um, page this week. I did a live on using a pendulum and I did another one on using um, kinesiology. So just um, on my profile, they'll be in the last couple of days for doing that. Um, now I've got somebody new on Ah, right, okay. Um, what do you mean, what a hope? Somebody here called Caleb Hansen. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by what a hope. I'd probably just best leave that alone. <laughs> I'd probably leave that one alone. Yeah. Um, right, so Angelique, that's beautiful. You have the perfect quartz point. Ah, oh, yes, repentance, that's right. And then, so that just helps you... Um, yeah, become more in tune with the body. Yeah, I hang up my pendulum. I don't use it very often. No, but it was interesting. I remember when we were first doing reading, you said, oh, why don't I use it? The very first thing you said, I don't 
I said, yes, I've got a pendulum. So I've actually introduced it, and somebody thinks it's um. I remember, I remember when when I first heard that, where you meant you mentioned, and I, I felt like it was something that you were already using. I felt like the pendulum. What by the time I, I remember, my original was like, "Well, how come you're not using that? Like, aren't you supposed to be using that? Like, isn't that your thing?" And then you were like, "Oh, I should really reintroduce that back again." So I'm glad that you have that level of biomagnetism. What's, what's interesting now is that I've got people who believe that it's just going to become part of um, what I'm doing to be able to do that as well. Yeah. I so yeah, muscle testing, but they're all the same. You can do the body sway, um, the the finger one, or the arm muscle. That's the first kinesiology one I think I learned as well. How does that one work? How does that one work? You um you have you need two people and somebody um says um um well so first of all you would you say my name uh, my name's Susie. So oh right, name, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you did that, so if I said my name's Bobby, hang us right down. So your body knows your um your inner truth. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, Caleb, just put your hands on your heart, allow the light to surround you to protect you. And we ask for the student to open Caleb's heart into life. And Caleb, your card is your heart knows. The message on the card is what a whirlwind in your mind. Take time to be still. Whisper to your heart. Tell me and listen. Wow. What, um, you know, one of the cards for the month is follow your heart. That's mine. It's about sitting in stillness and listening, yeah. which is something that a lot of people just don't do. You know, take five minutes a day and listen. Ask yeah. your heart. And also Francesca is a very spiritually uh, uh, intuitive he uh, healer as well. So listening to her heart is like getting that channel download from the spirits or from the guides. So I, mm. I like to think that that's a really powerful mechanism for her in there. Mm. Absolutely. So I think that might be our show for the day. I got appreciate you for letting me do this a couple days late with you, Susie. I, I, I absolutely I honor your person. It was, so I could tell, I just thought, I could hear the thing and I thought, well, there's no point. We shouldn't, if we don't feel well, just acknowledge our body and go to bed. And yeah, rest. it's true. It, you know, it feels. I had to learn the hard way of having a near-death experience to actually stop. And so now if I don't feel well or I feel tired, I'll go lie down for half an hour or do a meditation or something like that. It's yeah. really, really important. So, um, it was just so tough. I mean, why? Like, why would it? I just didn't understand why it had to take me down so hard. And like, I I always used to make fun of the man cold. Like, you know, people would be like, "Oh, it's like giving birth." And I'm like, "Oh, I get it. Guys make fun of it." But then I went through that, and I'm like, "Wow, like I'm feeling so cold, and I just can't get warm. And why is this happening to me?" And like the thoughts you just go through, it's it just rips you from yourself in a really huge way. And uh, you know, my my heart goes out to anyone who's dealing with you know, challenge in any certain way, shape or form, you know, it's, it's not fun to, to experience things that happen to your health. And, uh, you know, especially when, you know, that's all that, that's your true wealth, you know, like you even like they, Steve jobs, like, you know, lat, he, all the money in the world couldn't save him. He's his health still, you know, wasn't a priority for him or it, it, it didn't, it's failed him in the end. So it's just important to make sure you take care of that because this is your vessel, right. And, and if you're, you focus else, you're gonna get you're gonna crash right right hold on i'm seeing it you're seeing if anybody oh hi gail a friend of mine has just got um 
I know. It's the same time as the world as you, so it's not that late. Right. Um, I think that's it for today. We will see you guys. Oh, all oh, right, right. Uh, next month, it's going to be a four month, a four day, and a four year. Mm. And it'll also be a three day, like a vibe. Because if you oh, add wow. for April 4th and 2020, it adds up to 12. And one plus two equals three again. So we're in this. This is going to be a, we're, we're stretching this energy out. And next month is the portal of the decade. Like this is it. This is the very, the big one, like the Super Bowl one of the decade, because this is going to be the. Oh, well, we, better, we better, I will be set up a bit. So we've got some more assigned to whichever time of the day we do it, it's going to be um, a bit of a challenge. I just no, well, I'd, my like, I'd like to be, I'd like to celebrate 444 with you on the 4th of the 4th on the 2020. Okay, that would be so cool. we'll do it at my 4pm, your 10pm. Yep. Oh, I'm in, I'm in yeah, Vancouver, so. Life as well. Yep, my Sally's Life Out 4, your Life Sally's Out 4. Life yeah. out. I'm going to year. Yeah, so it's going to be. Oh, well, this will we'll have to get all the four life paths on and everything. It's going to be an amazing one. That might be tough. You know, usually fours are a little more analytical and skeptical of what we do. So I'm, I'm impressed and grateful that I have such spiritual life path four friends because you guys ground. This is true. No, you ground cosmic energy into the real, and that is something tangible. So it's a, it's a huge gift. But I know you said you okay. wanted to leave on that end, on that note. Well, very much for that because I've been um, I've got friends saying well Susie I didn't realize you really are a psychic psychic healer but when you do a reading I get some life coaching as well so uh, yeah isn't that amazing there you go Susie Gayla Gayla is a client of mine who has the most beautiful um, heart shape and has a lot of Susie Chill paintings on the wall as well uh, before I go, Gayla, do you want a card? And then we'll close down. Hey, Gayla, how's it going? Okay, I'll just see Gayla. Gayla hasn't been very well, so we'll just do this as a treat. And I think if anybody can be on, it's 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, which is for uh, Pacific 2, 2 p.m. Um for this amazing show we're going to be doing on gratitude. And because we've been talking about gratitude today, it will be um, really amazing. So, Gayla, for you. Oh. Ah, another one. There's a lot of love. And this love is, the love is for Gayla, to give Gayla more and more love because she's another one who gives out so much love. So, there you go. And, um, Gayla also owns a card, so he knows what the message is on that. So, um, mirror work, Gayla. Mirror work is what I'm hearing there. So, okay, that's, I want to thank everybody that's here. Everybody, anybody watching the replay, please put in replay because I come back and look at the comments and things like that. Um, join me tomorrow morning for the regular um, abundance show on a Friday morning. And we're going to thank Bobby for so much for being here because I can see that he's still not quite 100%. So I'm going to send you lots of healing love and healing energy and um, time for you to go and have uh, please send send prayers for my children. They're all getting sick now. I mean, we're we're good. I, we're gonna be okay. But I just want to make sure my little babies are doing good too. Okay, everybody. Thank you again, and um, love to you all. And we'll see you on the fourth of the fourth at four p.m., which will be the third of the fourth at ten p.m. For my, uh, I'm time traveling. No, no, no. I'm, I'm with you guys. I'm gonna be with you guys. My guys, are, we don't worry about. I guess I get a chance to celebrate it again the next day, right? But being ahead of having your time zone ahead is just a beautiful experience. I appreciate you for that. Okay, love everybody. Have a beautiful month, and I'll see some of you tomorrow morning. Okay.
Hey guys, Gaila loves your vibes, Bobby.